good day to all the students today we are discussing about programming in c language see myself g srikanth my qualification mca this is my contact number if you want to get any further information if you want to learn any new languages or in detail you want to learn the c language you may contact with the number okay see as per the U ou university today we are starting with the programming in c syllabus okay this is for specially bsc first year first semester students for all the streams mpcs mscs mecs and mccs students okay today our topic is programming in c okay today we are discussing about syllabus of c language as per ou university 2000 20 okay 2020 so coming to the programming in c yesterday before the session we had discussed what is program what is programming in c okay we'll discuss in detail when we are entering into the topics of unit wise okay so i am giving today introduction about unit 1 as per the syllabus unit 1 consists four parts computer fundamentals program fundamentals algorithms basics of c okay in the computer fundamentals we'll discuss in detail about what is computer what is abbreviation of computer definition of computer advantages and disadvantages for using computers okay and uh, characteristics of computers classification of computers block diagram or anatomy of a computer in detail there we will discuss what is input what is cpu what is output in input we will again discuss what are the different types of input to devices like keyboard mouse and so on and in the cpu central processing unit there we will discuss again what is memory different types of memory units primary memory secondary memory in detail we'll discuss about memory hierarchies control unit and alu arithmetic logical unit we'll discuss in detail about all these parts in the anatomy of a computer or block diagram of a computer including what output several output devices okay soft copy hard copy okay what are the various uh, hard copy related uh, printers plotters are all will going to be discussed in the anatomy of a computer okay this is about basics and fundamentals of computers including operating system what is operating system different types of operating systems and uh, complete overview of the cpu functioning with the computer we try to discuss in detail okay advantages and disadvantages different types of operating system including advantages and disadvantages of operating system we try to discuss in computer fundamentals coming to the second part of unit 1 program fundamentals there we will discuss what is program okay there using program what what we are going to be develop the applications what type of applications we can develop how to satisfy the business logics with the help of programming instructions we try to discuss in detail previously older any programming languages are there what is advantages and disadvantages okay why we need to learn c programming language and some different uh, uh, like uh, these are all the new words included like uh, linking compiling interpreting loading linking of a program we try to discuss in detail what is compiler what is the job of compiler what is interpreter what is the job of interpreting loading linking of a particular program okay where we are going to be write the program uh, what kind of instructions we need to write in what language okay how to convert that high level instructions into what machine understandable instructions we try to discuss in detail step by step okay in the program fundamentals and software development so in program fundamentals i am going to be cover complete uh, instructions previously 
what computer understands what type of instructions understand by computer like machine level instructions or low level instructions so nowadays how we are going to be writing instructions through high level internally how it going to be converts high level instructions into machine understandable instructions okay and also we discuss in detail about compilation interpreting loading linking of the program and complete flow chart execution flow chart of the particular program okay and next uh, third part algorithms in the unit 1 another topic is there algorithms there we'll discuss what is algorithm definition of algorithm okay different ways of stating algorithms like step form pseudo code and a flow chart okay in the flow chart we'll learn about the different notations symbols okay to represent the execution flow of the program algorithm simply tells about what how to write instruction step by step form okay how to write the instruction step by step that clearly explains about what algorithms simply about the problem statement the given problem statement how you are providing a solution in the form of what step by step form see that clearly explained by what algorithms there we'll discuss step forms pseudo code and flow charts in detail in the algorithms topic okay there designing algorithm structured programming concepts we try to discuss in algorithms topic and the last part of unit 1 basics of c there we'll discuss what is c language before c language coming to the history of c language before c is there any other programming languages are there then what is advantages and disadvantages of previous programming languages why should we go with the c language what is the advantages for learning this pro c programming language and what type of applications we may develop using c programming language we'll discuss in detail in this part uh, coming to unit 1 we try to cover overview of c means what is c programming structure of c programming syntax features of c programming and uh, how to write the c instructions okay way way should we write the c program instructions how to compile how to run the c program with the step by step we try to discuss okay so developing programming in c uh, the parts of simple c program like structure of c program and uh, comment sections program statements c tokens okay in c tokens covers different sub topics like identifiers keywords keywords are nothing but what reserved words variables data types constants strings operators expressions okay we try to cover in detail about the c tokens topic okay you are all newer to the or beginner to these words okay don't worry about it each and every uh, word we try to discuss in detail okay yeah see this is the lastly type conversions expressions expression evaluations precedence and associativity type conversions we try to discuss in detail the basics of c okay see according to the ou website ou university provides the syllabus for bsc first year first semester for all the streams okay for computer science students unit 1 consists th these are all the topics computer fundamentals program fundamentals algorithms and the basics of c okay and coming to the unit see you need to two covers input output okay input unit output unit means using programming language how to give some instructions with the help of input functions and how to print the output messages to the output window or output screen with the help of output functions we try to discuss in detail about non formatted and formatted input and output functions using c language okay and also we cover escape sequences okay escape sequences consists several escape sequences symbols are there we try to discuss in detail each and every symbol okay in the escape sequences so in the input output we may learn in detail about how to give instructions with the help of input functions and how to get the resultant output with the help of output functions we'll discuss in the unit 2 and unit 2 
comes is another topic control statements okay in the c program when you writing the programming i want to get or execute some statement based on the conditions okay then we go with the control statements the topic so it consists again conditional control statements like various conditional statements are there if if else nested if nested if else okay we try to cover the complete syntax how how this if condition is going to be work what is the problem with the if condition why should we use if else conditional statement okay again how to use multiple if conditions how to use multiple if else conditions okay nested means what if within a if if consists several if conditions nested if else means if consists several if else statements okay we try to discuss in detail the conditional statements also we discuss some comma operators dot operators like uh, some miscellaneous operators in the c language we try to discuss in detail and uh, selection statements switch switch is a selection statements we try to discuss in detail what is switch uh, how where should we use this switch statement okay with the syntax and some several example programs relevant example programs we try to discuss using switch statement i want to execute the statements several times the same statement like i want to print one message hello srikanth i want to print this message n number of times instead of writing duplication hello srikanth hello srikanth using output statement i want to write only once but execute that statement n number of times okay then c provides another topic called iterative statements okay iterative statements or looping statements using these we can able to execute the statements several times until unless condition become false okay uh, major using major looping statements are while loop for loop do while loop okay in c language c supports three different types of looping statements while loop for loop do while loop we'll discuss through syntax with example programs okay each and every statements while loop with the syntax what is while loop syntax of the while loop with the example program with output okay similarly do while and for loop other than that special control statements are they or jumping statements also we can call like go to keyword break continue return and exit okay we'll discuss in detail about these control statements like a conditional control statements looping statements and jumping statements three three different categories and including selection statement four okay if if else nested if nested if else switch statements while loop do while loop for loop and some special jumping statements or control statements like go to keyword break keyword continue return and exit we'll discuss in detail with the syntax and example programs using control statements in the unit 2 added another topic arrays and strings okay what is array what is advantage for using arrays and some disadvantages also there in arrays we try to discuss before arrays with the program what are the problems we are facing okay why should we implement arrays topic in the c programming okay what is the importance of arrays we try to discuss in detail some advantages and disadvantages of arrays okay arrays furtherly implemented by what single dimensional arrays okay two dimensional arrays so on multi dimensional arrays we may implement in different types of arrays there we'll discuss each and every uh, topic with example syntax example programs okay also we can write character arrays functions different types of functions inbuilt functions are provided by c with the several inbuilt libraries okay so many inbuilt libraries are there in c language that are represented by with extension file name dot h okay so wherever you find in c programming with extension file name dot h that becomes what built in header files those header files are came through in built uh, software okay we can just uh, open that header file we can identify what are the inbuilt functions are there we can use and reuse those functions wherever we required in the program so most useful header files stdio.h conio.h okay 
speci specifically mentioned in unit 2 c type dot h these header file consists all character related built in header file functions are added in c type dot h header file and uh, string dot h header file this is also one of the header file in c programming it consists all built in string related functions okay like a string compare string concatenation string reverse like built in header files in the c language c type dot h string dot h not only these two so many header files are there we'll discuss one by one header file when you are working with the c programming okay but in unit 2 as per university they mentioned two header files c type dot h and string dot h okay see according to the uh, programming in C syllabus we have four units today we discussed two units unit 1 and unit 2 okay unit 1 consists majorly uh, categorized by four different parts computer fundamentals program fundamentals algorithms and basics of C okay and unit 2 consists again subtopics input output units input output control statements arrays and uh, strings okay see i'm going to be stop the uh, video up to here okay we'll continue remaining two units in the next coming sessions okay i'm going to be uploading the remaining two units uh, explanation about the syllabus in the coming sessions okay thank you thank you all okay if you like this video try to like and share and subscribe my videos okay